Hello gamers, this is Noobzilla picking back up off of Zeus's post on forums.bethsoft.com. This is tips I wish I had known when I started the beta. It's tips, tricks, and hints to help in Elder Scrolls Online. So number 93, the easy way to interrupt is to click and hold the right mouse button and then click the left mouse button. If you interrupt the target using a heavy attack while the target is disoriented will knock the target down. Pay attention to the effect your abilities have on different types of monsters. Some powerful creatures are immune to certain effects, while other groups of monsters might be resistant. There are only three jewelry slots, and those cover region, resistance, and other modifier buffs. Plan accordingly. Any merchant can repair your gear, but it may be easier just to replace the gear. You have to buy your horse the Imperial Edition at the stable. Your vanity pet is in the mail that you receive. Weapons with the glyph enchantment do additional elemental, fire, frost, disease, etc. Damage use soul stones to recharge. Item traits enhance the damage of enhancements or excuse me enchantments or the time between recharging. Increasing your critical hit chance will also increase your critical healing chance for far more than normal. You can't heal crit on HOTS via the restoration staff or other heals over time. True healing spells, the ones that give the flat healing de heals, can crit via the Templar restoring line, though perhaps even the DK self heal dragon blood might crit as well, but they aren't positive. By pressing L and R, the left and right mouse buttons at the same time, you can snap out of a disorient and off balance effects for 30% stamina cost. Spiders feed off corpses to heal themselves, interrupt them by clicking both mouse buttons at the same time. Intimidation and persuasion are passive skills from the fighter and mage guild skill line. Keep a weapon in your inventory for a ranged attack if you are melee either a staff or a bow. If you're having trouble defeating a mob, you can kite it around. If you choose a DPS melee class, you're going to need multiple anti-kiting tools such as snares, teleports, fiery chain, stealth, etc. Bow users have a lot of options to snare, knock down, kite, and put out extreme damage. A lot will be naive enough to run a spec for maximum damage because there are even more naive players who will feed their XP's by not being kite ready. So basically, if you're melee, you need to be able to have some ranged attacks or some things to slow your enemy down or get to your enemy easier. You need a 10 accounts and a guild to unlock the guild bank with one spaces. To quickly and easily fill petty soul gems, kill critters, soul tap does all the work. The sneak mechanic. If you use sneak before entering combat with a bow and charge up a full attack, you will 100% crit with it unless you are seen. This also applies to weapon skills. You can charge a bow attack and immediately cast a weapon skill to crit on both attacks. It'll help a lot with soloing content. The more points you have in stamina, the more damage your stamina skills will do. The more points you have in magicka, the more damage your class and magic skills will do. You can move while using a skill with cast time on it. You don't have to stand still to wait for it. It slows you down a bit while moving, but don't worry about stopping and being rooted. This was in the Nightblade line. Maybe not all classes react this way, but yeah. You can drop items into the bank and it will auto stack them. Well, that's always nice. You can split the stacks when you remove them from the bank. When you unlock weapon swapping at level 15, you can decide to place the same type of weapon in both slots, but select different abilities for your ability bar. Okay, PvP. You need to complete the Welcome to Cyrodiil questline before the boards become active, or you can just skip them. You can get PvP, PvP quests in Cyrodiil by visiting the notice boards such as kill enemy players, scout area, attack keep, etc. Soul stones can be used to revive ally players and yourself. Note, you can't revive yourself in the alliance war. 
third person view is usually the most effective in AVA PvP. If you plan to alliance versus alliance, then PvE you would like AVA. AVA melee targeting is difficult because your opponent is going to be running around like a rabbit. Most of the beta, user, beta users had ranged weapons because of this. Know when to run in AVA. If you get in sprint range, range expect to respawn. Try not to stream singly into a fast moving zerg. When entering a contested keep, sneak when going through the doors. You don't know what's on the other side. Oil, oil can be poured on the floor the pot is sitting on, causing an AoE hit to everyone in the damage radius. Use ballistas on the walls to defend, trebs on the ground to attack. Keep a siege shield up on the ram when it's on the door. It'll batter through before oil kills it and the drivers. Set items, drop and cyrodel that are scaled to your level that are different from the crafted sets. Expect stealth opponents when you follow the standard reinforcements line to a fight. Going out of your way a little bit might help you get there in one piece. Run Mage Blight and bring a friend and hunt the hunters. When casting Mage Blight, it stays visible even when you're sneaking. Pets do not stealth with you. The way shrines to get out of Cyrodiil are at the gates. Some ABA quests, such as capturing a scroll, do not have to be completed by you personally, just your faction. So if you see a scroll moving, head to the board and cycle through them all until you get that one. You can pick up a deployed siege engine after you deploy it by pressing X. Always carry around a stone treb to break down walls and doors quickly. Always carry a fire ballista for other targets. As you get points, you will receive mills from your alliance with the appropriate greens on them. Easy way to quickly gear up if you complete ABA quest. All classes can stealth by crouching. Siege weapons must be put in quick slot to be used. And use the way shrines to leave Cyrodiil, not the transit shrines. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of things I wish I knew when I started Elder Scrolls Online. They've been a few hints, tips, and tricks. And if you like these, you might want to check out the other videos as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.